Hi, uh, this is Eduardo Ribeiro, and this is my uh, presentation for my final project on uh, game engine scripting and tools. This is the UDK 2004, and I'm, I, I want to be quick with this video. I just want to show all the requirements that was implemented in the game. Okay, <clears throat> requirement one. Uh, the game environment must have several objects, include an avatar, land and meshes. Uh, I'm going to zoom out to show everything I built. This is the game map. That's the sky. The dome sky. That's the, the water. That's the trees scattered all over the map. The map has a uh, it's split it in two, like a, a sand desert and uh, the green zone. And this is the where the game ends. There is a trigger set here to end the game once the player you know, reaches, in, reaches this uh, trigger right here. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the map over there. These are the trees. That's the requirement one. Okay, requirement two. The game must be able to accept user input uh, arrows, allowing the avatar to move in the environment. Uh, yes, to, you know, you can move the avatar once the game plays with the uh, arrow keys, the W, A, S, and D keys. I'm going to play from here. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on here that I didn't explain yet, but I'm going to concentrate on just, you know, moving the, the avatar player. Okay. I can move around here. Move around with the arrow keys, the W key, A, S, D key start being shot at really soon here. Okay, uh, requirement three. A script making uh, objects in your word dynamics. Your objects must react to avatar motion. Uh, I'm gonna show you, it's actually the hangar door over here that has a uh, a trigger and sound to these two doors. Uh, to be able to show this, I'm gonna have to let the uh, the two artificial intelligence bots uh, uh, destroy each other here. I'm gonna start the game behind here, and I'm gonna show you. Uh, oh yeah, there's one more thing. Uh, I'm gonna start here. They're just gonna destroy each other there. And once they do it, I'm going to show you the doors. As soon as I get close to the door, the door will open. There's also a sound being played as I get close to this building here. This is one of the requirements I will explain in a few minutes. We can see the uh, bot on the radar moving away. Now, when I get, as he, he moves away, when I get close to the door, the door is going to open and play open sound and closing sound. Away from the okay, I'm gonna wait until the uh, bot uh, leaves again. I squirted the, the enemy bot to uh, he's shooting the door to move uh, uh, back and forth uh, between uh, starting point one and starting point two. Okay, if we get close to the door again. Now I also have the uh, squadron vehicle in here. You can just enter.
requirement four have script load and play sound and music files okay I gotta go up here to show where this the sound files are there's actually a, a two sound files here there is one where the water is as I approach the water you can hear uh, the water sound and the hangar over here when we approach the building uh, you're gonna be able to hear a, uh, uh, like a, a suspense uh, music I'm gonna show the building first alright I'm gonna start the game here oops I'm gonna actually fall from all the way up here right? alright start the game here <coughs> There is no music sound right now. As I approach that building, we're gonna hear a suspense music. As I get close to the building, the music is louder. away from the building the music uh, uh, the music fade, fades away now uh, I want to show you the the water uh, sound actually I'm gonna start because I can get there quicker like this I start the game here as I approach the water we're gonna hear the water sound I think here should be alright. There is no water sound. As I get close to the water, I now can hear the water sound. Okay. Okay, requirement 5. Have script display location of the player as he she moves through the game. Uh, the location will be will appear here on the right uh, top corner of the screen. It will show uh, the two uh, enemies there. It will show another one as I go through this uh, structure here because it's going to spawn a, a, a bot over there and two weapons. Now, uh, you, I'm not going to be able to say anything because you're not going to hear me say anything once the game starts because I'll be shooting the, the two bots there. But uh, pay attention to the top right. It's going to show the enemies on the map and, and my location moving. All right? We're just going to do this quick. thing I want to talk about is the uh, you know the uh, scripting part of implementing all this stuff using a uh, kismet this is all that was done with uh, kismet let me resize the window so it would fit here uh, in my game this is the kismet I use for this level uh, okay let me see all right the uh, the trigger zero is the one that opens the door this is the matinee that animates the door opening and closing this is the door opening sound the door open it sound the door closing sound and the door closed sound uh, trigger five it's where it spawns the uh, 
the enemy robot actually the enemy robots and the trigger touch uh, factor sorry to be honest I don't remember <laughs> which one is this one here uh, yeah that's to spawn the uh, the weapons okay these these yeah these are the two weapons in the enemy robots and that's the end of the game here the uh, the, the trigger to finish the game okay uh, this is all the requirements for the uh, game level design thank you for watching alright uh, actually there is one more thing I wanna do I wanna actually just play the level real quick of everything I've, I've implemented in the level just to give a demonstration of everything that was done all the requirements I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna play the level real quick